What's going on on the internet, everybody? My name is Compost Cliff, and today we are going to be doing three random analogs. Number three! Now, I have a bunch of stuff that I want to react to, but obviously I can only react to three in this. But, um, yeah, also, if you don't know, Macabre Experiment made by Stuffy Studios, and Gable TV, another analog horror guy, he is actually making a um, Mac, Mac. Guys, I'm sorry, I can't. I cannot say this right. Macabre experiment is that how you pronounce it? Guys, please tell me down below how in the world you pronounce it. But um, yeah, one of them is like Stuffy Studios' most recent one on the Macabre experiment was Ben Drowned, and I've been wanting to see this for so long. It looks so good. The first two were great. Also, I'm going to do a theory sometime later about it. So, Stuffy Studios, thank you for keeping up with me. You, you are actually, in my opinion, you are actually better than Alex Kister himself. I am not, I'm not, um, I'm, I am not, um, exaggerating that any. You are, like, your editing skills are freaking insane. Ugh. Uh, guys, I'm sorry. I was out of frame for a minute. Um, but, but great, gracious day. I mean, like, your editing is so gosh dang insane. It's really good. All right, guys. Guys, that was a long intro. Let's, let's just react to the video. That's all we want to see. Alright guys, um, go spare number eight. I like how it's not doing experiments. I like how it's not doing like experiment number one or two, number three, it's mixing it up. Yo, it's one of these creepy pasta stories. Why did every single one of them start like this? True. What? What do you think GameStop does? <laughs> okay. I I didn't expect to feel haunted, creeped out. I wanted to have a fun time, but everywhere I went, it followed oh. me. It looked a lot like Wink, but it had a creepy. Also, I want to say, wasn't Ben drowned? The creepy pasta wasn't it a guy who um got killed by bullies and then he got into the spirit of his favorite game, Joy's Mask. Correct me if I'm wrong. Also, sorry if there was noise happening while I was eating that apple. Oh, that's creepy. Oh, that's messed up. Did you do something to him? You had to figure out who he was. Was that a dog? Oh, I like that. Ah. What up, Ben? Kill him. Attack that boy. Attack that big old boy. I like how it was going through the interview, but at the same time, it was, um, it's showing this. I like the transitions. Ah. I may have to turn it down. Oh, you gonna get him? Try use doesn't Link have magic attack? That scream is so weird. That scream is so gosh dang loud and annoying. Is that what that music's from? So I've heard this music so much and other horror stuff, but I didn't know if it was this. I thought this was from like Sonic.exe or something. Dawn of a New Day. Is that referencing something? 
What? Um, what's that? Is that one of the bosses? Why is it so loud? What? Oh! Is there actually a mod that does that? Is how do you do that? Uh. Something tells me something worse is about to happen. Uh oh. Why is it always so loud? I also realize the screen's getting darker. So has Ben one of the experiments itself? Is he one of the contestants? Who the freak is that? Okay. The faces you make are so weird looking. What? I'd be interested to see who in the world came up with Ben Drowning. I'm guessing the thumbnail picture is about to appear. If you guys don't know the thumbnail, it's a creepy, distorted face of Ben Drowned. It's really dark, but maybe that's just me because I'm trying to sit back and relax while watching this. Same time though, my screen's really dark. Hey, is that the Mask Man? The... What's his name? The Happy Mask Man, is that what his name is? Father? How would you do it? I'm trying to turn my brightness up. I know you guys can't notice it, but... Zelda! Guys, fun fact, I... Oh, there we go. Never mind, I got it. I just could not see anything for a while. Man. Also, I have a friend of mine who really loves Breath of the Wild. There's, like, I think that's probably one of the best Link games, even though I haven't played any of them. Uh-oh. <laughs> Is that Smiley Man? Yeah, Smiley Man. It's Face Dude! <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Your turn and Ben? Why would you. Never mind. Like, like why would you go over to Ben's file? Oh boy, I bet you I know exactly what's coming. What? What's the thing by his file? Oh, he's got a lot of the masks. Final day. Oh yeah, Majora's Mask, you have like a time limit to do, don't you? Um... Whoa, what was that? Um, what's wrong with Link's body? Whoa. What's that kind of show? Yeah, that's the thumbnail. <laughs> Bro, what, two things. One, how'd you edit that? And second, what could have possibly motivated you to create that image? I want to rest peacefully. I mean, it, I mean, if you're... <laughs> Guys, that actually scared the crap out of me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Guys, I was expecting it just to be a space. But, wow, that... Now that was cool. I like that stuffy is. Also, I saw like the thumbnail, like it is Ben with the teeth and all that. 
But I was just expecting him just looking at us. But then once he started screaming, had the mouth open, that was so terrifying. I love it. That that was so well done. Man, Stuffy, you deserve like at least a hundred thousand by this point. Oh crap! I mean, like so much of this stuff is so gosh dang good. As I said in my last video, I was gonna react to a few of them by Alex Kansas. All right, now, now um, I have never seen this guy before. But I'm going to place one called Liberty Lurker. It looks like this is like some analog based on the Statue of Liberty. I don't know how he ended up making this. Following audio is an expert from an 1889 interview with the designer of the Statue of Liberty. Wasn't it France? Did, didn't France give the U.S. Statue of Liberty? The most difficult aspect of the construction was the pedestal. Oh, that makes sense. Tended to be a gift to the United States Virgin Oh yeah, Grant was president when this happened, wasn't it? He had each month through some very inside. Oh, okay. Is this actually how it was made? Hey guys, um, tell me if this guy looks a little bit like Rhett from Good Mythical Morning. <laughs> uh, this looks so strongly I didn't tell him is Ask the Americans. What's the drawing behind him? Statue under one of the stream renovation special blueprint behind this guy's like for 36 years. Fun fact guys, Statue of Liberty is actually not green. It wasn't painted green. It was the chemicals that made it green. Just when I looked up analog horrors, this was one thing that recommended to me. Like when I looked it up on YouTube. So if this isn't that scary, then I'm sorry. But I see this guy, he ends up making a bunch of different... He's a, it seems like he meant made a bunch of scary source stuff. I'm not exactly sure where it's gonna get twisted at. I'm guessing there's gonna be something in the blueprint that's not supposed to be there. Okay. All this seems normal. But is that actually what's on the pedestal of the Statue of Liberty? And then we can start with Kyle Older while passing through on this island. Yeah, um, you'll see the animatronics, uh, they have been, um, uh, yeah, they, they've been requested that, that they smell a, a real bad odor, so we close down the beach What? What? Uh, imagine the Spanish would say. La mia famiglia aveva spruzzato profumo e acceso candele per tenere lontano il fetore, ma funzionava solo per un'ora a faccio di lì, finché l'aria diventava di nuovo insopportabile. Le serate erano così scalde, ma si per lo più sveglia, anche se il resto della mia famiglia doveva profondamente. Ricordo che guardavo fuori dalla finestra ogni notte e vedevo figli di persone che venivano con il nostro stato della libertà dei funzionari. Se solo fossero saliti sul piedistallo, i funzionari se ne sarebbero andati e non sarebbe successo nient'altro. La mattina seguente però sarebbe stato un odore peggiore, come un mattatoio. Uh oh. Alright, yeah, because Liberty Luger, I don't think that's an actual thing. Whoa. I swear, if you make that thing move. What the freak? What was that? Did, did you see that thing come out of the base? What was that? Look at like the actual video. Like, what's the description? Like, does does it actually say? Is it was this an actual thing? Oh, okay, no, it's just um, yeah, Liberty Luker. Apparently, this is like a Statue of Liberty creepy pasta. Oh, I mean, like, 
like guys, I actually for a minute I actually thought that it was a, uh, I actually thought it was going to be like a real thing or something. Oh my gracious! Okay, now this last one I have was recommended to me by someone, so I'll give you a shout out about right now. All right, but yeah, Gable TV. He ended up making one I think called Beginnings. Hopefully he didn't change it. Yeah, okay, yeah, he didn't change the um name because Gable I've realized he's changed the name of quite a few of his videos. But thankfully he didn't this time. And that that was loud. Hi. Why is the beep so loud? In our common country is being stuck. Oh, okay. There's an unidentified option when the caves can potentially be highly dangerous. Okay. I don't even know what that is. What am I looking at? Oh, never mind. We got a video. What is going on? He hears some background meets that's my dog. By me, because I've not shown any of What? Wait, people actually went inside there and hadn't come out? That was a quick update. <laughs> but they've been having drink. See, this is kind of going a little too fast for me. Make me watch over by Scientist 24 7. We advance you now. Don't worry about this. Why are you telling us this then? Everyone's being dealt with. Thank you for your time. I feel like this went a little too fast. Oh, these are all the um, the guys. Woken up to a water cup one. Was that a swear or something? Had grabbed the glass out of the air and glass shattered the cup. Wait, are we just gonna forget about patient two? I'm asking I hit the knife it was cutting its food with. What? Knocking the blade onto its arm. What? Should have cut clean through its body instead of bounced off laying on the floor. Oh, okay. Interesting. I'm gonna run more tests on the patients. New tests. Oh. And we said that was gonna be okay and you have nothing to worry about. Thank you for your time. Have a good day. Are we gonna get an update three? Yep. Why why is there a person now? Why is the silhouette here? Start developing supernatural abilities. They're superheroes. Superhero. He's Superman, congratulations. You're also Superman. You are not Superman. You are. Um, why is there a... Oh, showing the invincibility. Okay. I thought it was like, like, um, uh, you could have taken a way darker turn. <laughs> why the other bleeps have audio? This one doesn't. Uh, it's static. It normally had audio. That one didn't. Well, I bet you like one is gonna be deteriorating or something. Yo, this is like paranormal activity a little bit right now. Or should I keep looking through all the cameras? I'm trying to see if there's anything different. Okay, thank you. It was gonna be like high pitched screaming or something. Thank you for removing that gable. I swear, if if you play the audio and jump scare me with it, I'm gonna be so mad. Oh, person. I'm guessing that's telekinesis. Oh, 
You got offline. I thought he was gonna jump scare in front of the camera or something. Camera's broken. Wait, all of them? Oh no. Well, hey, this is what you get for experimenting on somebody. <laughs> Wait, four of them are missing. What about the other one? Okay. The alpha humans. Okay. And that was it. That's all the analogs I have today. So I'm trying to see, like, I liked how that last one, you didn't have to show a lot of actual footage in order to make it tense. I, I really appreciate that. Because if you guys did not realize, um, you know, it was telling a story, but they was it wasn't showing any, like, real footage. It was just showing text most of the time. And I found that really interesting because, like, normally analogs is, like, up front and personal and everything. Like, this one, the last one, were both like that. Like, normally a lot of analogs are, like, up front and personal and all that. But I liked how this one wasn't. It was a good twist. And, um, I, 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 I hope you liked it. If I had to get um, an analog scale, hopefully I can end up doing that, like rating analogs. So the first one with the Ben Drowned, I'd say that would be like a 9 out of 10. The reason I'm not doing 10 out of 10 is the only, if I had to say there was one thing I didn't like that much at Stuffy Studios, is the fact that um, it got very loud at times to the point where I'm going to have to edit it and mute it down a little bit. But I loved everything else, like the um, like when you looked back in the save file, it was like final day how the face guy appeared at that point. I I was not really expecting him to show up in that one, but gracious, like like that was perfect timing. That was really good. Also, the Ben Drowned thing, where it's like where he's like he has his eye like just like looking at you, and suddenly he just had his mouth open and all that and screaming. That actually jump scared me so bad. Like, I probably wasn't showing it, but I was so scared watching that. And that's what analog should be. It should be tense. And then there should be, like, that one or a few moments where you're not expecting anything. And then you get jump scared so bad. I love that in an analog horror. That's why you're my favorite stuffy. Now, I'm not saying, like, Alex, Kansas, and Gable, I'm not saying that you guys aren't, but, like, like I like yours, but I feel like Stuffy does it, like, the best. I hope you guys don't take that personally. Speaking of Alex, Kansas, his Liberty one, I, I, I did not really know how to react to that. I'd have to probably rate it, like, a 7 out of 10. I feel like it kind, I feel like it kind of, um, like, it was good, but... I feel like it kind of it didn't really, like, get a lot of the tense stuff yet. It was, like, only at the very end it was actually getting tense, because for most of the part it was just saying history, but then it was saying, oh, there's, like, near the end it was saying, oh, we smelled odors in here, and, like, the first half of the video is just explaining the history of Statue of Liberty. Personally, I'm not really that fond of something like that, but... Hey, I like the ending, though. It was, like, it was cool how you video, out of the videotape showed Statue of Liberty and a hand or something came out of it. I was not expecting that. I was expecting the Statue of Liberty to move or something. But, no, that was, that was pretty good. So, well, actually, maybe 7.5. Somewhere between a 7.5 and an 8. You're, you're lucky. You're lucky I'm not as bad as Scaf, as Scaf is in production. Is that how you say his name? Scaf. Scaffrillus Productions. You're lucky I'm not as you're lucky I'm not as a critic as he is. But um last one is that Starland Starland Project Beginnings. I actually like that. That was really cool. It was um like I guess like beginnings, the reason I liked it was because it, it got a good, it got a good story, or like a good origin story. How it's like 
five people went to a cave for some dumb reason, and then they got superpowers from from like interacting with something in the cave. And then I realized that they kept like then they experimented on these five guys and experimented on the monster in the cave. I like how we didn't see all the patients or the monster. It really sets up the tension to like what it is in the next part. So that's really creative. Now, if I'm thinking, like, what would I rate it and what would I change about it? I, I don't really think I'd actually change anything on that one. I feel like it could have used, like... Now, forgive me for saying this, Gable. I feel like it kind of could have used, like, maybe, like, one one jump scare. Like, the part where the guy's at the camera. Where it's like he's looking at the camera and then he uses telekinesis to break it. I think it would have been um, a little better if he, like, if he teleported towards it when he was breaking it. So it's like he's right into the camera. Because uh, that, I was really expecting a jump scare like that. But, um, yeah, like, like you don't have, like, that. that's just, like, I can't think of anything that I would change. But if I was forced to say it, that'd probably be it. But I'd say that, like, probably, like, a 9, 9.5 for, your, for yours, Cable. Um, yeah, you did it, like, I didn't see that many things wrong with these ones, except for the, except for the Liberty one. Anyway, guys, that's all I'm gonna do. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed these. Comment down below for any more that I should do on Complex Live. See you guys in the next video, and see you also next time for Three Random Analogs number four.